I get asked the question quite frequently, what do I do for work whilst I'm at university? I did a job quite some time ago discussing do you actually need a job at university? I'll leave a link down in the description for that. But in today's video, I'm going to share what I do as a student ambassador at Bournemouth University and what can really, really help if you get a job like this. Let's jump into it. So in today's video, as I mentioned, I'm going to try to explain my role as a student ambassador and the things that I generally have to do in a day-to-day -day sort of circumstance and the ways in which I actually get contracted to do work. So if we start with the actual way in which I get work. So the way that it's structured for the student ambassadors, um, there are a different um, set of ambassadors, there's different categories. So you can be a standard ambassador, which is someone that's gonna be doing the open days, um, tours for people, all of that sort of stuff. And then you have the other ambassadors. So you have international ambassadors that speak to international students via programs like Unibuddy. Um, and then we also have something called marketing and communications ambassadors, which are the digital ambassadors that do certain videos and blogs paid for through the university. I am both a normal ambassador and a marketing and communications digital ambassador. So I do create the odd video or blog for the university when requested to do so. What that basically means is that I will help out on open days, I'll take people on tours, and I will be paid for my time. As of current, um, I'm obviously not going to discuss my pay rate because I'm still in the position and that could get me into a little bit of trouble. Um, but I am paid quite competitively um, and it is quite a good rate of pay. And what basically happens is you get contracted some hours. So they might say, oh, would you like to work nine till five on this open day? And you go, oh yeah, that's fine. So you put your name down for it. They may ask you to do four hours in an afternoon to do a tour for a few people, put your name down for it, et cetera, et cetera. So it's not set shifts. You're not always working constantly, but it's work that you can generally pick up every now and then to sort of get a little bit more money on the side per se. With my little pass here, it obviously says I'm Matthew, um, I do television production and I'm an undergrad. So a few of us get this uh, round our necks when we go round on open days. And that's basically so people know um, who they're going to be talking to. The duties of an ambassador are super, super simple. All you're basically doing is chatting to prospective students and making them feel welcome on the university site and campus. It's not very difficult to apply for the role either. Um, you simply fill out an online form um, when the applications are open and you put together a short video. My video looked a little bit like this. Um, it's pretty, pretty terrible by the standards of today, but it basically enables them to sort of understand what sort of person you are and if you're going to fit the role. I enjoy doing my position as a student ambassador. I enjoy doing work for the university. Um, it's quite easy work, to be honest, but it's also very rewarding and it gives you that sort of buzz of making other students feel happy about the circumstances they're going to be in. Obviously, the role isn't always going to be a laugh. It is serious in parts, but balancing it out and actually having some good fun really does help within the role. And I would highly recommend going for this job if you would like to become a student ambassador at any form of university. Obviously, I'm basing my case study off of Bournemouth University. The jobs may be different at other unis around the United Kingdom and also further into the US. I do know that they do some ambassadory sort of stuff over there. If you have any questions at all about any of these programs or schemes, especially with me being a student ambassador, please don't hesitate to either drop me a uh, message down in the comments section or head over to my Instagram and message me privately over there. Thank you ever so much for watching today's video, guys. I will see you very, very soon. See ya.